Once in a Lifetime 8780. This one's for you. I'm dedicating this episode to you. Craig Cohen 87 here for episode 62 of the Iron Den. Today is going to be a shoulder day. It's Monday. I'm fully rested. I've only been training four days a week. I feel really good. I'm in a very good spirits. I don't feel overtrained at all. I feel basically 100%. So I'm very happy for that. I like the four-day workout. The four-day, four days a week. Four-day-a-week workout. That works for me the best. I can go as hard as I want, and yet I'm still getting enough rest to recover. For me, five days is too much. I go way too high to only take two days off from the gym. And um, I think I'm just going to grow more with less time in the gym, and I can go harder. Very happy with that. My strength level leveled off last week, so it's no longer in decline. We'll see what happens this week. I won't know until I'm under the weight. But, uh, I, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling strong. I'm trying to remember, what did I shoulder press last week? I think I did 90 pounds for 10 or 11 reps. I should have no problem matching that. I definitely don't want to be lower than that, but I don't mind matching it. The goal is to always beat it by one. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go nice and slow, nice and low. You know how I work. Emphasizing those negatives. I want to make I want to make every rep hard. I don't want to make it easy. That's that's the whole point, you know. It's not about how much weight you lift. It's about how much how much stimulus you're causing the muscle. That's that's how the muscle that's how muscle is built with stress, rest, and diet. Those three things combined. That's 90% of it. And then the rest of it, well, you know, it's a little something else. But other than that, it's definitely the training, eating, and sleeping. So I think, uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm going to do shoulders. Pretty basic. Nothing special. All right, I'll see you in the gym. All right, it's time for the first top set of the night. Shoulder press. I got some 90 pound dumbbells. Now, last week I hit it for nine reps. So the goal is minimum nine. I want to hit 10, but I'm not going to sacrifice quality for quantity. Um, I feel good. I think I got nine in me for sure. I probably have 10, but I won't know until I'm under the weight. Let's go hit some smelly salts. This is an important set because I'm fresh about 100%. So it won't get better than I am right now. This is my time to shine. All right, let's go build some muscle. Lightweight. Oh, I love Ronnie. All right, let's do this shit. All the way down. One. Slow negative, all the way down. Two, keep going. Feel good so far. Three, control the negative. Four, muscle is built at the bottom of the rep, not at the top. Five, but it's all important. Six, seven. Eight. Nine. Let's try one more. Nope. I'll take nine. All right. Time for a second and final. Down to 65 pound dumbbells. Last week I got this for 10 reps. So 10 or 11. These should feel light. All right, let's do the shit. Ooh. No cheating. Ooh. Unless it's to make it harder. One. Two. Three. Four. 
Bye. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Slow negative. Very happy with that. All right, time for some side laterals. Now, last week I got 35 pound dumbbells for 16 reps. That's too many reps for a first set. I want to work my way up to that number. I'm thinking this, this set will be 40 and hopefully I'll only be able to hit 12, but I want excellent quality and technique. Control the negatives. One, two, three. Four, five, slower, six, ah, slower, seven, that's it, that's it, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ah, we'll call that thirteen. The last rep was a bit questionable, but that's okay for the last rep. All right, 60 second break starts now. Second set, we're gonna go with 30 pound dumbbells. I wanna do at least 13, let's see what I got. Nice and slow. One. The reps don't matter as much as the quality. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, I gotta leave my ego at the door. Seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten. Okay, I probably should have went a bit lower on that rep set, but that's okay. It was still a good set to failure. One minute begins now. All right, third and final. Down to 20 pound dumbbells. 12 plus would be good, but again, the quality of the stimulus is more important. Let's do this shit, nice and slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, I'm on fire. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm happy with that. Let's see what's next. All right. It's time for some cable upright rows, which is going to hit the rear delt. It's going to hit the whole delt, the rear. It's going to specifically target. I'm going to go start with 70 pounds. Last week, I got it for 10 reps. So again, I'm gonna to try to go for 10, but they're gonna be slow and they're gonna be hard and maybe I don't hit 10. Let's see how this goes. One. Two. Nice and slow. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, slow, slow, oh yeah. Very happy with that. All right, time for some reverse pec deck. I've been holding steady at around 150 pounds, slowly inching my way up. Last week I got 12. I don't think I'm ready to go higher. I wanna at least hit 12 again or hit 13 before I start moving up. So let's see what I got. Shoulders are already pretty sore, but I'm feeling good. 
Keep your shoulders down, elbows down, and big circles. Move on. Two. Three. Control that negative. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Feels pretty good so far. Ten. Eleven. That felt great. I don't know. I'm guessing next week I could go up by five pounds. As long as I'm above eight, that's what counts. All right, I already started 90 seconds. It's time for set number two. Cutting the weight by 50%. 50%? Or a third, from 150 to 100. I think that's cutting it by 33%. But don't quote me on that. All right, last week I got 10, so at least 10 are better. Move on, it always starts off easy, but it gets harder. That's the point. Two, control that negative. Big circles, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm on fire, ten, eleven. Twelve. One more. No, that's it. Oh. oh, well, I beat it by two reps. All right, 90 seconds begins now. Third and final. Down to 70 pounds from 100, which is a 30 pound, 30% drop. Nailed that one. Last week I got 12. I want to try to hit 15. Nice and slow. Let's see what I got. One. If I go fast, I can do 50. I don't want to do 50. I want them to be hard. I want my muscles to break down. I want to tear some fibers. Three. Four. Five. Nice and smooth. Six. Seven, shoulders are burning. Eight. Nine. Ah. Ah. All right, I only got nine. But uh, four of those were torture. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and something else. All right. I'll go into the back. Shoulder. It's um, shoulder press up here, hammer correct, besides the front belt, super set is the front race. It's very heavy. That's uh, so good. First front belt fight, which is good when I'm standing in line or whatever. I'm looking for belt and both the poses are head on. So you keep playing. All right, last week I did two sets, so I did two sets this week. I got 11 last week. Let's see if I can do more. Uh, oh, yeah. It's hard mm. Quality is good. All the way down. Try what I get. One. 
All right, so now it's time for my top set of lever shrugs. Last week I got 360 pounds for 20 reps, which is way too many reps. I was warming up with 270 and I barely felt it. So I'm going to go up to 410. And let's see what I get. I want them nice and slow, control the negative, and I'm probably going to pause at the bottom of the stretch. All right. Let's make this a good set. Oh, yeah, I feel this. All right. One. All the way to the bottom. Two. Three. Let the weight pull my muscles apart. Four. Five. Six. Mind muscle connection with the traps. Seven. Eight. Oh, yeah, I feel that. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Really good. Ninety seconds begins now. All right, it's time for a replay. Same weight. Let's try to break 10 reps, double digits. Anything in the double digits is good. 15 was a little high, so I don't want to lower the weight and do more reps. Oh yeah, lift with the legs. Oh yeah. All right, just like last time. Control the negative, pause at the bottom. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. All right, I think I'll call the work out there. Let's go find a place to pose down. All right, let's hit some poses. Do that one more time. Ooh, start with the relaxed poses.
One more. Sorry, happy with that. See you in the car. All right. So, to sum up that workout, I would give it 9 out of 10. Very happy with it. Everything from the very first exercise I did, all the way up to my posing. I think my posing is getting much better. Holding the vacuum in poses is getting much easier. It feels like it's 50% easier than it was even a couple of days ago. I'm super happy with that. I'm way ahead of where I've ever been in my life, in my bodybuilding career, I should say. Uh, strength hasn't gone down at all. All my best lifts were tied, and a couple of them I beat. The shrugs, very heavy, right at the end. Super happy with that. My, uh, well, I'm numb a bit right now. It'll probably be sore tomorrow. Yeah, very happy with that. Shoulder pressing is getting very good. Nice and slow, nice and low. Not taking any shortcuts. It's not about writing a big number. Remember, the muscle does not count weight. It does not count reps. The only thing that affects the muscle is stress. And going slow and controlled is all that matters. I know I'm not, I'm not like the strongest guy in the gym. I'm not lifting the, the most, the biggest number, you know? But I'm probably going lower and slower than most people. Not everybody, but most people. Anyways, very happy with all the lifts. I feel great, no pain. I, I, you know, I've always enjoyed working shoulders. A lot of people have shoulder injuries. I've just managed to avoid them my whole career. And um, yeah, the only pain I have is in my lower back and I experience it on leg day. But other than that, zero shoulder pain, zero pec pain. I feel really good, very strong, despite being on, I'm just cruising right now. So I'm taking almost like no gear, very, very, very little. And I'm going to be off of it for six weeks. So I think last week was week two. This is week three. And that's just to get my body fresh and ready, uh, taking it easy. I want to relax. I want to recover because the prep is going to be 16 weeks. It's going to start uh, first week of July. It's going, to, it's going to last 16 weeks. It's going to be very hard on me. I'm going to be ramping up all my training again. Probably before I start my, uh, my prep, though, I'm going to take one or two weeks off. But I'm still going to be posing at least five days a week. It's very important that I that I pose because I think that's my biggest weakness. You know, muscle size, muscle density is not a big of an issue. I have a very strong metabolism. I have n I know I'll be able to make weight no problem. I'm going to get shredded. I'm very good at peaking. My body seems to like to peak. But uh, yeah, posing is definitely my biggest weakness. And I want to be I want to be near the top of the posing. Because 
if you, you can have the greatest physique, but if you can't show it to the judges, it doesn't matter. It, it'll affect your score, you know? But anyways, I'm very happy with the workout. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow will be back day. Looking forward to that. I actually like doing shoulders ahead of back. I, I was doing it the other way around when I was doing five days a week. But I prefer it this way. I don't know why. Just I, I've always liked presses, pressing more than pushing. Uh, I always like pushing more than pulling. And it's good to start off the day with a good push. So, very happy. Thank you all for watching. And I'll be back for more. Peace out.